good morning everyone or oh, it's obviously not morning when you're watching this but it's morning me right now and I've literally just got out of bed made myself an iced latte because I'm usually a hot girl coffee mm, hot coffee girl we got that but I really wanted an iced coffee because last night I was so warm it's as if overnight the seasons have just changed so I woke up this morning and I was like I just need something cold to like quench my thirst today is just gonna be like the ultimate bookish vlog like we are gonna do so many fun bookish things because I've got like two weeks off work now so I just want to do some like fun things even if they're like by myself because I love my own company. I've got a lot of fun things to do today. I got a little list on my phone. Well this vlog's gonna be over like two days so book shopping obviously. I'm gonna decorate my kindle because I got new kindle stickers and a new like pop socket. I'm so excited because my kindle is like plain at the minute. We're gonna go grab some coffee as well. We're gonna go read a little bit in the coffee shop. I really want to finish the Maid series in these next two days. So I'm halfway through The Maddest Obsession by Danielle Laurie. This is book number two. I devoured book number one in one whole day, which is Sweetest Oblivion. Sorry, I got the books up there, so I'm just gonna look. Yeah, The Sweetest Oblivion, the Maddest Obsession, and then The Darkest Temptation is the third book. And I'm loving this series so far. Like, I'm devouring it. So I really want to finish the Maid series in this vlog as well. I'm tempted to reorganise my bookshelves because at the minute, I'm gonna like try and show you. At the minute, this shelf here is all like fantasy and then the furthest shelf is all Roman. Yeah, I'm gonna try and like split them up so it acts of like it acts as like one big shelf. So going across the top. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? So that's what's on the agenda, but when we go book shopping, there's a few books that I really, really want to get. I've never read an Abby Jimenez is that how you say her name? Abby Jimenez book. But she's just brought out a new book. Is it Just For The Summer it's called? I really want to read an Abby Jimenez book. Yeah, Just For Summer. There you go. So that book, Just For Summer, came out recently. But I almost just cracked my tuff on that. They've got it in my local Watsons, which is in Cardiff. Maybe they have other Hab Abby Jimenez books out as well. What one did she write that went really popular? It's got like, yours truly. That's what I want to buy as well. But yeah, there's just a few books I want to have a look for. That's what's on the agenda today. But I do a little intro to the vlog before just jumping straight into it. I'm just gonna sit here for a while, drink my coffee, and read my book. And then the vlog will officially commence and all the bookish fun will officially commence. Obviously a bit more presentable than earlier. I've done my makeup, only a little bit, and scraped my hair back because it was a grease pit. And I'm just in super comfy clothes because there's nothing better than being in comfy clothes, especially the weather outside. It's pissing though. But I'm gonna head to the bookshop in a minute. We're gonna go to Waterstones in Cardiff. We're gonna drive down. But before I go, because obviously I want to go to a coffee shop and just like read for a bit, so I can like read some of this and finally finish it. But I want to make my Kindle all nice and cute before we go. So let's cuten up my kindle <laughs> got a range of stuff here so i've got all my I've got a bunch of stickers here which i'll show you which ones i've got now and then i got this from skinny dip it's the same one i have on my phone and then i got this from etsy it's from the petite pop shop i'm not sure it's like a pink resin sort of thing and i'm really excited because i haven't had a pop socket on my kindle for so long gonna be so cute and my stickers are from books with jess bookshop and she has really cute stickers so these are the stickers i got so the first one is i'm gonna be like a <laughs> the first one is this one it says fairy tales like how cute is that and then i got a little lizzie mcguire thing because i'm a lizzie mcguire girly i was a disney girly growing up and i loved like lizzie mcguire vassal raven hannah montana this when i seen this i was like i need that and then me with my book boyfriends <laughs> and of course we have to get a smutty book club because if you know you know and i've just got a little one read more this like it's a slow burn on the candles and then the books say 
enemy lovers and fated mates and we got a slow burn book club with like match like a match box a match box yeah, that's what it's called matchbox this one's so funny guys if you've read full thing then you'll get it but it's a bottle of like water that says dane's tears on it <laughs> the other ones on there like um tamlin's tears and i really went i was gonna get the tamlin's ones but i went with the dane and then we got a box of tissues that says crying over fictional characters i have like a poster on my wall that says crying over fictional crying over fictional characters as well because i'm constantly crying and we got this like cute little sword i like how cute is this sword with like a pink little bow on it and then I got this one, but I'm gonna have to cut it because it's like, do you know what I mean? It's not cut properly like around the heart. So I think I'm gonna have to cut this myself very carefully. So I got like blue tack here and I seen a little trick on TikTok that obviously I don't wanna stick, I don't wanna actually like peel the stickers and stick them to my Kindle because I wanna be able to switch them up whenever I want to. So I seen people to say like a tiny, tiny like dab of blue tack, kind of like smaller than that, tiny, tiny ball on the back of the sticker. So it's like, teeny tiny and then you can stick it to your kindle and it's not gonna move because i had stickers on my kindle before and then every time we pull the pop socket out all the stickers used to like drop which was annoying i'm so excited it's gonna look so pretty when it's done sit here and be let me like move you back ignore my wardrobe it's a mess but look how cute this is i mean the book that i'm reading doesn't really match the, the vibe <laughs> but the stickers are so cute but i'm really excited now we're gonna go sit in a cute little coffee shop the coffee shop that i usually go to is not actually open on wednesdays i don't know why they're not open on wednesdays i might just sit in like the waterstones coffee shop or i could just go starbucks i don't really want to go starbucks though i'm really excited now to go to the bookshop but yeah i'm gonna get that abby jimenez book i did get these in the mail yesterday so i got wide love by Elsie Silva, which literally came out yesterday, and I got the seven year strip because I have not read the seven year strip yet. I know, but I didn't realize how short it is. Pretty short and sweet, but I'm gonna film a video coming up soon about me reading like popular books because I've got a few books on my shelf that I have not read yet, but they are very hyped up on like Bookstagram, Booktube, Booktok, all the book social medias. They're very like hyped up, especially this. And I'm also filming another video which this will feature in where I'm filming myself read like new releases. I got a bunch because there's been a bunch of new releases and there's still a few to come up, so I think the video is gonna have a at least like six books in there because there's so many good releases and I just want to like document myself reading them and my thoughts because that's what I love about YouTube that you can just like pick up a camera and just document yourself like reading books and like oh, I just love it now my battery's gonna die which isn't good but I'm gonna grab my stuff clean up a little bit and then we're gonna head to Waterstones and the coffee shop <laughs>
it's taken me an hour and a half to get home i literally only live 20 minutes away from cardiff i literally live on the outskirts of cardiff and it's taken me an hour and a half because it's rush hour and everybody's trying to leave the city it's literally i left at prime time for everyone leaving the city i'm home now and i've got the goods so let me show you where i got i also went into the works as well why am i like standing like this there's a seat right next to me let's go through what i got first i went to the works no i didn't first go to the works but i'll show you the book that i got from the works which is from megan brandy tempting little thief for girls of grace and i don't know whether it's a new series i'm actually going to switch up because i love megan brandy so megan brandy is the she's the author of say you swear and this book lives in my head rent free i read it last year and i love this book with all of my being like no riley he is like on the top of my book boyfriends this not many people like it but it's like mama you either love it or you hate it so i don't know whether this is going to be the same and then i got four books from Watsons. they didn't have the abby jimenez book that i wanted they didn't have any abby jimenez books there i looked everywhere and then i asked the woman i was like it says online they've got it but i can't find any on the shelf and she did a little search and she said yeah we should have it so she went to go have a look and she couldn't find it anywhere either so she said it might just be like slow updating but the first book that i looked up was lee Badugo's the familiar this is the Watsons exclusive like it's so pretty. I haven't read a single Lee Baduka book, but I think I own like every book ever published by her. And I just know that I'm gonna love them. And then this is the book that I actually wanted because I read because I read the way it used to be and it was only a three star. I didn't enjoy it that much, but I really wanna follow on Eden and Josh's story. And I wanna see them like get back together and have that like cutie moment that we didn't get in the way it used to be. And then of course, Girl and Paint the Book. Good, this is Betting on You. I don't know if this is oh no, the do over. That's the second book to like Better than the movies, isn't it? There. I've read better than movies. I haven't read the duo over yet. I loved better than movies. I think it was like 3.75 and I've like really enjoyed it. She's an easy rom-com. Like you can't go wrong. So I'm excited to read this. And then lastly I got The Book of Azrael's. No, The Book of Azrael by Amber V. Nicole. And this has just been traditionally published because I've seen this all over TikTok and it was like an indie version of it. And that was just been traditionally published and I cannot wait to read it. Oh, the writing's so small. Why is it so small? But that's everything that I got. I got a good collection. I'm really excited for all of these. It's almost like six o'clock now. I think I'm gonna like make some food and then I'm gonna sit down and read a bit more. I didn't really read as much as I wanted to. I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish The Maddest Obsession. No, I'll probably finish it tonight, but I don't know whether I'll finish all of the book tomorrow by the time this vlog finishes. When I was in Starbucks, I got up to chapter 13, I'm like 45% of the way through. But I feel like I'm taking my time with it because I don't want it to end. I just love Gianna and Christian. Especially Gianna, like a personality. I don't know, I feel like I resonate a lot with her because she has like these, like she suffers really bad with like anxiety and she suffers a lot with like mentally, but like internally. Does that make sense? Like she's not visually struggling. And she puts out like this front of this like party girl, like cool girl, really wild and outgoing internally she's struggling so i feel like i resonate a lot with her yeah i'm gonna make some food now as i mentioned and then i'm gonna go read i think for the rest of the night i don't know it's six o'clock so i'm just gonna chill out read yeah tomorrow i'm gonna reorganize my bookshelves and y'all gonna do it with me but i'm gonna stop rambling now because i've been rambling on for way too long so it's the next day of this reading vlog and it's incredibly late i've literally just woken up literally about a half hour ago and it's 11 33 i literally woke up about 11 I was up until like half two three o'clock last night finishing the maddest obsession but obviously i read on my kindle because it is on kindle unlimited but i finished this last night five freaking stars guys like to understand how much i love this book and i do not give out five stars lightly but the amount of like love that i felt between these two characters and like there was so much like banter and tension and i like live for that in romance books but the amount of like realistic things that went on and the amount of like the amount like the way i related to gianna and her anxiety and the way that she fronts herself as this like fun bubbly person but then internally she's struggling <laughs> I related a lot with that but it was the best book and it was written so well like these books are written so well and I just don't understand like why I haven't read them sooner I'm actually really eating them up so this was the second one and then the third and final one in the series is The Darkest Temptation and I don't think I've actually met characters in here yet it follows Mila and Ronan Ronan he must be one he's obviously one of the mafia men I'm trying to think if we've met him I think there's a kidnapping in this one I don't know whether he kidnaps her and it's like a Stockholm Syndrome kind of thing <laughs> 
kind of situation. Or if she's like, they have like a little thing and then she's kidnapped and then he like goes on a rampage to try and find her. I don't think I'm gonna finish it today. I wanted to finish this series today. It's only 400 pages, but I got a lot of stuff that I wanna do today. Like I wanna change my bookshelves. I got some parcels come in. Some more books, I know. But the books I couldn't get more, so I ordered them online. So I'll show them to you later when they come. And we might go get a coffee, but I've got my coffee here. Look how stunning this looks. Like, can we take a moment? How stunning this looks. <laughs> Love that sound. Oh. Yeah. Let's, let's just some, let's just read, shall we? I just got back from the post office to collect my parcel. I'm really excited for what's inside. I know what's inside because I ordered them last night. Let's see if it's a good one. That was a good one. Oh my god. I really hate the colour on this one. I wish I lived in America just to have the red cover of this. But I first picked up Fourth Wing because, as I mentioned earlier on the vlog, when I went shopping, I was hoping to get in the works, but they didn't have it in the works. But this was only £4.50 from Amazon. And I love Fourth Wing with all of my being. It was literally a five star read. And then I picked up the two Abby Jimenez books that I really wanted. So I got. Yours truly, which look how disgusting this cover is. Why can't I have the red one? I really want the red one. And then I also picked up the new Abby Jimenez book, which has just been released just for the summer. Oh my god, look at that. Look at this state on it. Amazon needs to take better care with our books, guys. Other books does she have? I think she has four books out. Part of Your World, which has seen a lot of people say is really good, so I might get that as well if I love these two. The Friend Zone, which I haven't seen many people speak about. The Happy Ever After playlist. I haven't seen anyone speak about that. And Life's Too Short. I haven't seen anyone speak about that either. And obviously, yours truly. Those are the other books she has if anyone's interested. But that's the part of your world. I've seen people speak about that. That's really popular as well. But these are the new books that I need to somehow fit on my shelf. And that's what we're gonna do next, which I'm really freaking nervous for. So I've cleared the floor. I don't know, I'm just gonna take everything off and pile them up, which I'm not excited about. I've even cleared my desk because you're on my desk right now because my tripod isn't tall enough to show everything. So I've put you on my desk. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm gonna put those in the corner because I think I want to keep every single book that's there as a display. Let the time lapse commence. I just got my box of like dust jackets in here. So the original dust jackets. I obviously changed them out, but I don't know what to do with these. I'm just gonna keep them. I'm gonna put them on the top of my shelf. Authors who dabble in fantasy and romance, like Never by Jesse Hastings, is classed as a fantasy, so I keep it with my fantasy books. But I also like to keep my authors together. Same as Rebecca Yaros, she obviously writes romance, but also writes fantasy. You see my dilemma. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> I'm surrounded by books. There's like books just everywhere. But I'm gonna try and, not gonna try, I'm going to put them all back on. <laughs> like what was the point of this? Really? What am I thinking? What is the point? I'm gonna put my hardbacks back where they were and then go into some more fantasy. I might put my like hardback Sarah J Maas up here and like do my Sarah J Maas shelf up on this one. I am eventually because I know I'm just gonna eventually buy my books. Eventually I'm gonna buy more shelves for these and add more shelves in so I can make the gap smaller whereas instead of buying a whole new shelf because I have not got the room for that. Just, just step on the hardback shelf back on tree. <laughs>
try and keep I like the way that like my sports romance shelf falls and I liked having like all of my like colourful ones together so like my twisted series I like having them with my LC silver ones because of like the colour scheme then I also need all my other LC silver books so I want to put my all my Anna Huang books together but these are really dark and I don't they just don't match I'm done, so my battery died. So I had to charge my camera. I moved some stuff around, but I'm all done. It looks really weird, except I'm so used to just having split up, but now everything's just like across and it looks really weird. So I've got all my hardbacks up there. The Divine Rivals on display, which I haven't even read yet. And then my beautiful ACTA shelf. And then it just goes into paperbacks. I haven't really like divided them up by like genre or anything. So like they're all sort of mixed up. So you probably have like adult fantasy and like YA and stuff together and I'm more I'm actually like <laughs> I don't want to have the space because I had like three books but I didn't want to like carry on and just have like three fancy books and then like a romance shelf but fantasy up here as well and then it goes into like the more pretty colours of my romance and then we got my sports romance shelf so these used to like stand up but oh but the way that I've like done my shelves it doesn't really fit but um, I know for a fact I'm going to have to move this sports romance shelf around soon. There's a new Hannah Grace book coming out that's going to go here. And there's a new Elle Candy book that's part of this series that's going to go here. So I'm going to have to move these to the Dutier series. And I also am on the lookout for an indie version of the Consider Me series. I haven't, there's a third book but I haven't got it and I'm on the hunt for it. And then we just got some like random standalones and like series that kind of go together. So like I've got all my Taylor Jenkins read books. I've got my Christina Lauren books. I've obviously got these two, I need to swap those around, I just realised. And then I've put my like just random ones. So like Colleen Hoover, obviously, I do not want on display, but I can't bring myself to part with her books. And then just like Christmas books and just like, random books. And then coming over to you, obviously I've showed you the fantasy shelf for that. And then we've got the Ravenhood series. And then these are the Megan Quinn, these are the Kane Brothers series. And then my Lauren Asher collection, the Eden series, my cute little bow oh and then my new magnolia parks covers and then i've just got this random book there because i needed to fill a gap when it was only small <laughs> and then this is like the last random shelf so i've got like some standalones um just like books that i didn't know where to put them. this is where i put the other anna Huang box yeah i'm not really a big fan of the series so i don't really like sounds if i need them on full display but then i've got my like dark romance then these are my new shelves <laughs> i'm really happy with them i know for a fact it this is going to be reshuffling and reshuffling all the time when new books come in. But I have got this jar with me. Not with me, but I have this jar and it's empty and I want, I want to make a TBR jar. So I might go to the shop and then we can make a TBR jar together. That can be our last bookish thing of the day because I have no more bookish things to do. So I'm back. I mean to get my card, which was a bargain. It was only a pound. Which can't go wrong, there's like 15 pages in here. I've got the list of my phone. But I think I'm going to try and cut these up into... I'm going to fold it in half, cut it down the middle. Yeah, that's big enough, isn't it? Like, across there. And then I'll do them a little bit thick then, so if I have to go underneath, I can go underneath. Cut things out and use. Kind of see. And then should I do like... Like that thick?
done. Um, there's doesn't look like there's that many in there, but I it is a big jar. My fingers though are literally just like folding all the pieces of paper. One, two, three, 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 four, three, five, three, six. There's thirty six in there. There's thirty six. That does not look like thirty six. But I'm gonna put them on my shelf. Plop them on top of my Magnolia Parks books. Ta da! And then these are the finished shelves, guys. They're so cute. But yeah, I think I'm gonna end the video here. Like, for the rest of the day, I'm literally just gonna have some food and continue reading my book. That's literally all I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. But thanks for joining me on my little bookish adventure over the last two days. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, then don't forget to subscribe down below because it means the world to me, and give it a thumbs up as well because that would also mean the world to me. And yeah, I'll see you next time. I think my next video is gonna be the 24 hour readathon, so keep an eye out for that as well. <laughs> Bye!